Good evening, friends. I'm so glad that you are joining me tonight uh, for a service of Compline. And I thought I'd, I'd come uh, in here into the St. Luke's Chapel of the Cathedral to lead Compline tonight, uh, a place of peace, a place of quietude. And I, uh, I do pray for peace and quiet mind for each and every one of us, even in times that are, are difficult like these. Um, when there's so much uh, upheaval around us and um, just the ongoing uh, challenges of, of this pandemic and all the decisions that have to be made. And so as we go through Compline, I pray um, that we will be returned to the peaceful presence of our Heavenly Father, um, even transported into the very throne room of heaven, uh, which is the place of perfect peace. So let's have a moment uh, of quiet and, and silence before we begin. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Now let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. At the end of the day, there's lots of things burdening us, uh, things done and left undone, said and unsaid. Um, let's lay those before the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we confess to you, to one another, and to the whole company of heaven, that we have sinned through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, raise us up to serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant you forgiveness of all your sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm uh, for this evening will be Psalm 134. If you'd like to read along, um, feel free to do so. Behold now, praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that stand by night in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God, lift up your hands in the sanctuary and sing praises unto the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hear these words from the prophet Jeremiah. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not leave us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. 
Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite you, if you'd like, to press pause. You can offer your own intercessions, your own thanksgivings. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And now let us say together the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us this night and evermore. Amen.